I think it's really important for a woman of influence to have characteristics of uh, vulnerability and be able to communicate and connect. Um, and as a, an author of influence, it's being able to remember what someone has said because they're being raw and vulnerable and real and reaching out to you through the book. Um, I think it's really important to also be, to some extent, a giver with boundaries. Um, that's the therapist coming out in me. But, but to be able to volunteer your time and mentor others and be there for other women. So for instance, I have a woman who took over my office suite as I downsized through COVID and I'm encouraging her and cheerleading her and helping her. And um, I left shelves in my office for her and she wanted to pay me for them. And I said, no, I'm all about empowering women. I'm about helping them, encouraging them, lifting them up. And I don't need anything back for that. I'm paying it forward. So to sum up, a woman of influence and an author of influence needs to really connect with her audience. She needs to be real and raw and vulnerable and uh, be able to share her story with strength and uh, encouragement to help empower other women and ultimately um, just be there to pay it forward for the next generation of women that are rising up behind us.